Salutations, everyone. Today we're going to be talking about a controversial subject, and it's sad that it's controversial. Hopefully it's not going to be like this in the future, but uh, for now, this is a thing that just keeps popping up. Twitch and boobs. Twitch and boobs. People have been talking about it for the past couple of years, actually. If you look online, there are you know articles or blogs or YouTube videos uh, talking about you know women on Twitch with webcams and spoiler alert they all got boobs um every last one of them barring any medical circumstances that's it's kind of a commonplace thing that anyone with two x chromosomes got uh, you know two of these and that is a surprise to some people and apparently controversial we saw it brought up in the news last year when there was a new dress code policy implemented on twitch saying that you couldn't wear lingerie or swimsuits or pasties or strip on stream uh you know shirtless is is not something that should be on your webcams whether if you're a man or a woman and they did keep it a little vague, which is good. There's not a whole lot Twitch can do on their side to, um, you know, really change the landscape of, you know, the Twitch streaming community and really the, the gaming community as a whole when it comes to a lot of, you know, prejudice against women, which has, you know, been widespread across all levels of everything since forever. And it's no surprise that, you know, it's it's been brought up again and again and then just a little while ago like a month or so ago it was brought up again due to some guy on youtube making a video about it uh bashing certain women because some women like to play into a certain role and accentuate their cleavage uh with the positioning of their camera maybe specifically accentuating on that aspect or just you know letting it out there and there's been a lot of uproar because, you know, for a variety of reasons, there's always going to be some people who think that games should be an all boys club and girls aren't allowed and they ruin everything, even though, like, the, out of the top 100 streamers on Twitch, only eight of them are women. And the population of female streamers is just significantly lower than men. That's just a fact. And there's, you know, a lot of prejudice, a lot of trolls, uh, a lot of hatred and harassment coming their way. Um, just by default, just by default, and that's that's sad that that's a thing that still is prevalent in today's society, and with the anonymity of the internet, just gives assholes more credence to be assholes because of the lack of repercussion and identity. Now, with Twitch's vague rules, it's good that they keep them vague because we what we don't want on Twitch or anywhere on the webs where people can be on camera is a high school or junior high-esque dress code. Anything that we've seen um, these Twitch streamers that are being accused of, you know, doing whatever it is they do, you know, the women with the boobs, uh, what they're being accused of, uh, being complaining about what they're wearing is all like perfectly legal and perfectly fine for them to wear out in real life on the streets without getting arrested. And as long as it's legal outside of your home, it should be allowed to be doing inside your home. There has to be, of course, some limitations. For instance, YouTube has a no, you know, graphic nudity policy, which makes perfect sense. If you allow porn on YouTube, YouTube would just become a porn site. That's just what would happen. That's just the internet. That's how it works. If you allowed it, that's all it would be. And on Twitch, if you allowed that, then I'm not saying that's all what it would be because it is at its core a gaming website. It's not as broad as a website like YouTube or, or Ustream or, you know, whatever else, uh, you know, video services are out there on the internet, but it might present some sort of um, weird imbalance and odd viewership. Uh, societal changes but limiting what people can wear just people as a whole I don't care if they're women or men I think is a, a step backward women should be allowed to wear what they want when they stream I mean spoiler alert all people like boobs straight men gay men straight women gay women we all agree it's like one of the few things that like everyone can agree on boobs are cool they just they are they draw the eye they look very nice and it will gather attention people um women whether they show cleavage or not 
have a pretty decent opportunity at gathering some initial attention because of the fact that they're women and they will get uh, you know just attention for that because it's not as common as men also depending on the game that they are streaming um but to hold everyone to the same sort of weird i don't want to say standards but to the same sort of model is in, is completely off base. You wouldn't have every man being held to a certain type of model. So don't say that there are legit female streamers and then there are non-legit female streamers. There's all kinds of different personalities out there. There are people who stream who are really, really competitive and they're just one of the best in the world at the game and people like to watch that. Some people speed run. Some people have awesome personalities. Some people are funny. Some people you know, do, you know, uh, charity things. There are people uh, do a lot of different things on Twitch that gather people that want to watch them for a variety of reasons. Not just because they're a man or just because they're a woman or just because they show cleavage or not or they're funny or, or what have you. There's a large variety of reasons. So don't lump women into one or two or three categories because they're just way too many different people out there doing way too many different things. And you wouldn't do that to men. So in a perfect world, women would be allowed to wear absolutely whatever they want, even if that meant wearing nothing in society because, you know, what men get to wear whatever they want or not want, and that's perfectly legal. And it's obviously overtly sexist that women don't get to in society. And in a more free area like the internet, you'd think that that kind of freedom would be more attainable. But obviously it's not for reasons that I had mentioned beforehand. But with uh, the institution of a quasi dress code and a lot of weird stigmas against women, like, oh, if you're a woman, you have to show a cleaver to know people aren't going to watch you, or, uh, you know, you have to have a webcam, or you have to have it, you know, below the neck if you're using a webcam. Those are weird kind of models that people put forth that really uh, as disconcerting to the population as a whole and to potential people that would be awesome at streaming because they feel like they have to have a webcam, they have to be attractive, they have to compare to these other women. Like men shouldn't do that because women are told enough by society that they have to do that to each other. So just feeding into that system is not going to help anybody you know, stream good content or people to absorb good content. That's just counteractive. And the people that do, you know, obviously know what they have and are proud of it and flaunt it, which is not a bad thing whatsoever. You know, people have what they have. Um, some people like that and some people might come for that initially, but you have to have the personality, have the gameplay to keep people coming. To think that you get people to watch a stream just because of they have boobs is, is crazy. You need to have something to keep them there that might initially gather their interest for whatever reason but you gotta keep them there. If people wanna see boobs on the internet, spoiler alert, they absolutely can and as much as they want whenever, however they want, literally like however they want. And so to think that people go to Twitch just for that is very, very ludicrous because I've been on the internet before. I know what's out there, or at least I've, I've heard of it. So that's not why people might be watching what they're watching. But even if there is, like, what's wrong with that? That's kind of a win-win situation. I don't see anybody getting hurt there. The person streaming gets the fans that they want. They get that interaction. They get that attention. And the people that want to see that get to see that. So I don't understand, like, who's getting hurt here. No matter what you think of, you know, this person's legitimate or this person's not or this one's using their sexuality or, you know, flaunting the goods is is just like really like why do you have a problem with this you don't have to watch it that's not a thing you don't have to watch it it's not every streamer is going to be for you regardless of their physical appearance or what game they play or their personality or their sense of humor there's a lot of reasons to watch or not to watch somebody so you don't have to watch the women that that show the cleavage if you don't want to half the streamers that i watch on twitch are women and sure they all happen to be pretty but spoiler alert almost all all women are pretty and they all have boobs regardless if they show them or not it's not really a mystery um, of you know the female form we all know what they look like and guess what they outnumber us so we should be familiar with them at least a little bit so shaming women for being women is way way counteractive to everything that we've done in the last 
hundred or so years when it comes to equality, as well as just being a nice human being. You shouldn't say that, oh, you know, boobs are GTFO or, you know, you're not as pretty as this other girl streamer. Like, what are you doing? What are you doing? If you're a woman saying this to other women, then that's counteractive to your own cause. If you're a man saying this to a woman, then you're missing out on some possible good content. You're discouraging other people. You're creating a hostile environment for the chat and for the potential streamer who, guess what, actually have feelings. I know, crazy idea, but they do. We all do. So to instigate some sort of fight based off of, you know, a thing that most humans have. Most humans have boobs. That's uh, that's a thing. That's a fact. That's science. So to have a problem with them is really weird and in the context of a Twitch stream with a webcam, I really don't see what the harm is or what there is to complain about. In some areas, it gets really hot, like where I am and where I'm streaming in my room, it gets really freaking hot and it's just gonna get hotter. If I had a fan on, my mic's gonna pick that up and that might not make the best stream possible. So I might, you know, if I could, lower the temperature in any way I can. With women, that's even a bigger problem because they got more going on in this area. So if they wanna wear a tank top, let them wear a goddamn tank top. They can do that in public without getting ridiculed or at least, you know, specifically you know, with certain types of other human being interactions. But for the most part, people can go outside with the tank tops and be just fine. Shouldn't they be able to do the same on the internet in their own personal Twitch stream? It's ludicrous to say otherwise that they can't wear something low cut, whether it's because of the heat, that's the clothes they like, that's how they feel comfortable. Women should be able to wear what they want whenever they want, especially within the privacy of their own home and their own personal channel on Twitch that you don't have to watch if you don't want to watch. So as someone who streams myself and someone who watches other streams, both male and female, I don't see the problem. Some people will use their cameras to focus like on their bird or their cat. They'll have like a cat cam or a bird cam. It's like, yes, I want to see what that cat's doing because I like that cat. I want, what's that bird doing in the background? I like your bird. You talk about that bird all the time. Let, let's put the cam on the bird. Or, you know, you show off your hair because you change it all the time. Or, you know, whatever. Whatever it is that you have in your area that you want people to, to see, people are going to want to see it if they want to see it because you'll get the views, you'll get the followers, you'll get the interaction. And that's kind of like the best part about Twitch is the interaction between the streamer and the viewer, getting to see their personality, um, getting to show your own personality, either in chat or if you're streaming yourself. And there's really no harm being done. You're just going to have the assholes and the trolls trying to ruin everyone's fun. And I think people who are against women streaming in general or the women that have cleavage or even the ones who are totally accentuating the fact that they have amazing cleavage, I don't think that there's really any problem with that. It's not hurting anyone. People are doing what they want. People are getting what they want out of an entertainer and no one's getting harmed. You're not losing viewers because of some women have their boobs, you know, partially or not even exposed and you don't have to watch them if you don't want to. So I don't see who the loser is in this except for, you know, women getting, you know, denigrated and being judged and being held up to some certain standard or model that they shouldn't be. And it's just, it's hurtful to everyone else. And I think that's, Hopefully this is a vocal minority and the silent majority needs to speak up. We need to help, you know, protect the people that we like to watch, uh, you know, moderators and people in the chat to discourage this type of, you know, negative reinforcements uh, towards people doing whatever it is they want to do on Twitch, wearing whatever they want, putting the camera on whatever they want. People will like what they like and they'll come for what they come for. So. I don't really see what the problem is in that, but I guess that's just me. Let me know what you guys think in the uh, in the comment section below. But uh, I think uh, I think you'll see what I mean if you really look at it from a multiple perspectives.